Head shaking is a painful neurologic pathology that causes an involuntary shake of the head during the horse's work and sometimes when at rest without any apparent reason. Often these episodes are violent and uncontrollable and repeat themselves with an alarming frequency. Various stimulating factors such as light, work, food, smells, etc. can stimulate the motor and sensory fibers of an ultra trigeminal nerve giving sensation of burning, tingling, itching and electrical shock in the nose and in the face. The pathology of the trigeminal nerve in the horse is very similar to neuralgia in men and here too the causes are unknown. It is suspected that there is an involvement of cells in various cerebral areas besides the trigeminal nerve itself. The characteristic symptom is a quick and involuntary swing of the head. Sometimes the horses are so deeply upset that they become dangerous for themselves and for their riders. These symptoms can persist for the whole year or appear seasonally in 60% of the cases. Many horses must live with dim lighting and undergo treatment for the rest of their lives. Those that are refractory, unfortunately, are left with the only solution of euthanasia for humanitarian reasons owing to the strong persistent pain. Many horses must live with dim lighting and undergo treatment for the rest of their lives. Those that are refractory, unfortunately, are left with the only solution of euthanasia for humanitarian reasons owing to the strong persistent pain. Red is a nine-year-old quarter horse showing symptoms of continuous head shaking for over 18 months and it is so serious that he cannot be ridden or left alone in his paddock in daylight. The horse has been given an allogenic stem cell cycle that is from another horse intravenously and after her months autologous stem cells were given systemically and locally along the trigeminal nerve. As usually happens in head shaking, the results appear after a few months, when the owners have given up hope. At the end of February, the horse was visibly disturbed when working with the rope. But by the end of June, he could be ridden like a normal horse. In horses having this pathology, I repeat the cells yearly. So even this incurable neurological pathology has been resolved by stem cells, and we hope to see soon this therapy experimented on people having the following pathologies. Neuralgia, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, some kinds of paralysis and epilepsy, etc. Today we finally have a budget plan for the first phase for experiments on humans and we must choose solid partners.